Welcome to Mastering and Guide Learning Ultrasound and Echo. Heart is a muscular cone-shaped organ that circulates blood inside of our body. Uh, and it's located inside of the chest in the area between two lungs that we call mediastinum. Mediastinum is a space between two lungs and divided to the superior uh, about the base of the heart and inferior. Inferior divided three uh, parts, anterior, front of the heart, middle or that correspond exactly heart and posterior mediastinum that beyond the heart. In posterior mediastinum we have a structure esophagus, aorta, thoracic descending, trachea and some vessel and uh, nerves. Most of the heart has been surrounded by the lungs, but a specific area of the left lung didn't grow very well during fetus life. The heart pushed that part and created an empty area, we called it cardiac notch. This specific area, it created for us an acoustic window. Acoustic window means the sound can pass through to that area because air and bone is enemy of the sound and cannot propagate through that area. So this is uh, almost uh, somewhere between third intercostal to five intercostal at the left side of the uh, sternum. But sometime it uh, have, we can access, create in the right side parasternal, especially upper part at this area, second and third intercostal right side of the, we call it right parasternal window. That is most in the pediatric, it will be easy to get that window, but in adult, if you'll do a little maneuver, maybe we can get some images later in other, other clips I explain. I have to mention here, uh, most of the uh, my uh, demo on the cross section of the heart belong to this uh, software that created by the Toronto University, uh, and they did great job. And uh, it's uh, free, is public. Everybody can access to uh, that uh, website and practice with the that software. I strongly recommend everybody, student, resident, everybody go to that website. It has both uh, transthoracic and transesophageal. So you can cut, move around, different angle, different view, cross-section, orientation of the probe, sector, everything is wonderful. And don't forget, if you have enough, if not bad idea, donate to uh, them because they have that uh, you can uh, donate whatever you can. Since I am going to use a lot of sector sound uh, in this uh, presentation, I, uh, I thought it's better I explain a little about the sector. As you know, we have different type of the ultrasound probe, probe or transducer. We have many different, Kelvinier, linear, uh, vector, pedaf, and so on. The pattern and the pattern of the sound beam has been produced and sent by the sound uh, ultrasound probe. We call it array. Generally speaking, we have three type of the array: linear, that sound pulse are parallel to each other and shape the image shape that show on monitor will be rectangle. Kelvinier will be trapezoid, they diverge, and vector that we use on the transducer for the echo, we call phase array, uh, array or uh, vector probe, is a pie shape. We call it sector, and on image, you can see the image is almost a pie shape or we call it sector. Just remember when I uh, talk about the sector plane means the 
whole sound pattern that will be sent by the probe. Now let's continue anatomy of the heart. As you can see, uh, the heart is not completely at midline. One third of the heart is on the right side of the midline and two thirds on the left side of the heart. And as I say, a heart is a cone shape, has one tip, we call it apex, and one base. The line or plate that passed through to the apex, to the baseline, we call it long axis. And any plane that is perpendicular to the long axis, we call it short axis. It can be different level at the base, at the middle, or at the apex. So that is short axis of them. The orientation of the heart dependent the content of the abdomen because whatever is inside of the abdomen push diaphragm and heart can change the orientation of the heart and structure of the chest wall, especially vertebra. Generally speaking, uh, the heart orientation just for memorizing easy is not in each patient will be different depending on all those parameters and factors that I said is uh, 30 to 35 degree in the play uh, in the frontal plane in horizontal frontal and in sagittal view it looks like cutting the uh, body hard this way and you are watching from the side sagittal view generally is all of them almost between 30 to 30 degree. But as I say, depending on those parameters, the orientation of the uh, long axis of the heart will change. In the average or general people, this uh, long axis orientation direction is something between 10 and 4 o'clock, between 10 to 10, 30 to 4, uh, that means our sector sound that I explain is orientation uh, toward the right side of the shoulder, right shoulder, and the hip. That is the average people. But if in those people with uh, they are tall and skinny, it become more vertical instead of the 35 it become a little more, 45, become this way. In the opposite way, those has a big bell and uh, short height, those become more flat. Uh, here, for example, this patient is almost transverse, zero. So in each cases, the orientation of the heart will be changed. Don't forget, when you are scanning the patient, your sector orientation of your probe will be changed. Don't expect everybody has the same orientation marker toward the right shoulder. Uh, no, you have to see the patient and many times you have to change your orientation of the probe and even location. For example, imagine in this patient, it uh, content of the abdomen for any reason, it push up and so, for getting apex, your apex move a little higher and go more lateral. Some patient, you go a little higher, more lateral for getting plaques or apical uh, view. Here on the patient, you can see almost your probe on the, this patient will be at pointing between nine to 10 instead of the 10 to 11 is nine or sometimes even nine. 9 to 10. So based on those image and landmark, you can uh, manage your probe orientation. Up to the next time. Have a wonderful time.